world politics, a tale of political tensions in the U.S. and Nigeria's 2024 off-cycle election. The ballot is stronger than the bullets, and that's from Abraham Lincoln, the 16th president of the United States. The chaotic political landscape in the United States, especially following recent assassination attempts on former President Trump, has placed a global spotlight on the country's struggle to maintain a peaceful political atmosphere. This turbulence raises serious questions about the integrity of democratic values. Meanwhile, in Nigeria, all eyes are on Edo State as it gears up for the 2024 gubernatorial elections. The principle of credibility, integrity, accountability, and fairness will play a vital role in determining the outcome. These democratic pillars should guard the electoral processes, ensuring a result that reflects the true will of the people and solidifies trust in the nation's political system. Okay, so, so you know, um, before we delve into the U.S. election and the Edo State election, I'm sure you know, it's, we still have other countries that are having elections this year. Mm, but yeah. let's talk about our neighbor here, Ghana, mm -hmm. for instance. You know, um, the, the president of Ghana has just completed his tenure. That is in the person of uh, Akufu Adu, uh, Nana Adu Akufu Adu. I think this year will be handing over. But, you know, as, as they prepare to, to have an, a, an election this year, his vice president is one of the persons uh, contesting for... President. Yeah, so and then there are, there are a lot of uh, concern in Ghana. I just want to get... Okay, so the vice president... His name, you know, is from the, their party, we are New Patriotic Party in Ghana. Okay. So the Vice President of Ghana, uh, uh, Mahmoud Bawumia, I think that's the pronunciation, we're correct. Dr. Mahmoud Bawumia. So now there are concerns, he, he talked about issues on tasks, you know, encouraging technological development in mm -hmm. Ghana. Yeah, yeah, enhancing tech, tech skills, just like what we said in Ghana. I okay. wanted young persons to be involved in technology okay. and also their processes to be automated. He wants mm -hmm. to introduce technological processes in their system of managing governmental processes. Okay. He also wants to see how to encourage um, this issue of taxing. You know, there is this issue of mm, maybe too much multiple taxation, high cost of mm -hmm. living in Ghana. So these are the concerns. You can see that it's kind of similar to what we have in Nigeria. Precisely. So this problem is not just related to Nigeria. Okay. So we'll be watching Ghana from now to when they have the election, mm -hmm. even post-election. So we are going to be monitoring Ghana. We'll, we'll talk more about it subsequently. So back to the U.S. election. You know, about, um, let's say, um, last week, mm -hmm. a video of, uh, or let's say at the beginning of last week, we, there was an, a second attempt to, assassination attempt on uh, pre, uh, former President uh, yeah, Trump. Donald Trump at his Trump International Golf Course. You know, luckily for him again, this time That's around the, the, the suspect was apprehended, he was arrested. You know, the first attempt, the suspect was actually killed at sight. Yeah. Or killed, yeah? Mm -hmm. uh, so he was shot at sight. So now the, the issue is this, the, the system is so chaotic mm. right now in the US. You know, um, and the rest. what I have to say is that um, now there is more like, the US elections is more like the center of attention to mm -hmm. the world because United States stands as a bastion of democracy. Precisely. The world is more like you say you are um, a leader in something, you are actually the head of something and you are not living up to expectations. Mm -hmm. You understand the violence, the term, just imagine um, assassins coming so close to a political figure and a person who is running for presidency. It, it goes to it's show that... It's questionable you get. It's many things you get and um, coming from their campaign lines, the words, the system, like just um, imagine the... Smear politics. Yes, imagine the last um, campaign they had, um, mm -hmm. sorry, the debates they had with um, Kamala Trump Harris. and Kamala. Yeah. It's, it just goes to show that the world is watching and people mm -hmm. are like, oh, is this not the bastion of democracy? democracy? This is what they do. How much yeah, more? Yeah, so just actually mm -hmm. died and fight for democracy, for democracy. Destroying democracy but in other, just see other how regions. see the um direction it's going like mm. the trajectory is not so good At all. like it's not very good and it's not it's not more like something a leader should do mm. you understand standing as okay you are always 
putting uh, the spotlight on people's democracy mm -hmm. that you are not doing this right, mm -hmm. but see you, see your, co see the country, see everything going on. Three assassination attempts. Come on, the first one two, could be a actually. mistake. It's actually the, second the one. first one. It's two assassination. Okay, the second one. The, second one. Mm -hmm. the first one could be a mistake. What about the second one? The <laughs> the world first one was actually a mistake. No, let's yeah. just say first attempt. attempts could be mis a mistake or something you okay. get could get up. But what about the, the first one? You what about the second, second one? one? You won't excuse it. You get. Then so I guess it's a problem. The world, the world is watching them. Uh, the systems, the this, this so-called democracy they stand for is watching all ma majority of these countries that are kind of practicing democracy and all mm -hmm. that. You, you, this same country kind of like question them that you guys are pra um, practicing quasi-democracy. What about you now? Mm -hmm. Although the sitting president Biden has committed to a uh, beef up personal security for Donald Trump, but oh, beyond that, same. they should go beyond words. Can we have a rank of no? I feel, I feel the, I feel the, the I feel the atmosphere, uh, atmosphere, the political atmosphere in the U.S. now is it's it's quite tense. violent and very tense. tense. Very it's just yes, too violent. It's disturbing. Yes, it's very it's disturbing. disturbing. You get shootings. You see words, word attack. Mm -hmm. Even the um, running um, candidates. You see the words they use on each you other. Said, oh, the oh, last debate was not focused on what you are doing for mm -hmm. the people it or what you are going to do or the strategies you put in place. This one is more like a personal vendetta. Personal school. School. You yeah. get it's <laughs> just a problem. Mm -hmm. So we are appealing to President Donald Trump and mm -hmm. the Vice President Kamala Harris. Please and work yeah. with so, yourselves. So beyond, to ensure beyond peace. you know, vote candidates, right? It might also be that their followers or people who are supporting them also, I don't know. It's all boils down to both of them now. They should uh, they should try to take charge. Mm. You, Donald Trump, should talk to his base. Kamala, talk to your base. Everybody, to your calm down. So more like social unrest. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Divide. There is a divide in so interest. So what, what's that thing we always say in Nigeria? Let's tell them election no be war. Election no be war. And indeed, so I think that um, it's very essential that caution is being taken and every everybody we're all stakeholders in this so please you know be responsible and accountable as well yes. they're moving down to, to yeah Edo State to Edo State. you know the recently the the chief of defense staff and the person of general christopher musa had to travel all, all the way from abuja to Edo. to meet the governor of Edo State and speak with security stakeholders mm. to, to discuss and ensure the uh, participation Free. of the military enhancing okay. Or promoting free and fair election and security mm -hmm. and safety so uh, the issue is that i have with this is that before you delve into the matter there have been some concern about police being compromised mm -hmm. you know the governor was making some allegation that mm -hmm. he feels that the police will not will, will do more harm than good and mm -hmm. there are some means of calculated ways to maybe uh, favor a certain party over yeah, another over party another. but then the question is should soldiers be involved in uh, enhancing law and order especially mm. during elections mm. don't they have although in this part of the world is is so normal that when there's a little unrest mm -hmm. you see soldiers, soldiers women everywhere. around doing the work of police, police. it's not be, this is an abnormal situation it's yeah. not becoming a, a very normal, normal situation. situation to the extent that the chief of defense staff Actually, had to leave his office to come and where he so, had there are other important things mm -hmm. he could have done mm -hmm. yes. in abuja there so so what, what is what is really happening to the police force or to our police force um, so it now feels like people only people would only, only listen, you know, listen yeah. when they see the military or the militants, which is not military. The military, the military, the military. Rather, um, we we need to really revisit this this situation. It's something we need to talk about. I'm yeah, saying that's we, another the thing. The government, the go yeah, yeah, we ought to because this thing now will open other issues like mm. police funding. Yeah. Police retraining, mm -hmm. police redeployment, yeah, orientation, police orientation, like public yeah. orientation, yeah. police civil relationship, mm -hmm. all these things. But we're, that that's like topic for another day. But let's focus on the election. Yeah. Can we tell the the political situations too in the those states, although has not really become it's but a little bit chaotic. You know there's about a peace accord. Yes, yes. but but there's an issue now. They are accusing some members of a certain political but he has complicity in the death of a police officer. Mm. That's how serious it is now. Wow. So it's like there is violence already. Mm -hmm. So oh. can we tone down the yeah. the tense you know, the and focus on, on residents on of Edo State are already scared of you know the upcoming election and the, there's a there's an atmosphere of fear, right? Apprehension, fear, you know, atmosphere of fear. Yes.
So and the go the governor seems to have lost confidence in the police force, mm. which is not supposed to be. There's supposed to be a cordial relationship between, between the, gov the governor yeah. and then the chief. What do you call them? The commissioner of police. Commissioner of police. So they are for the hands. The military does but not necessarily safety. have to get so involved. So does it even mean that have to, the it has to police force not understand their place of ensuring safety? I think it's a matter know, of this is a systemic is a systematic problem, or should I say is yeah? I would call it a systemic failure or problem. It's not because. We have a lot of some of these police are well trained. Have you seen some of our high ranking police officers? The badges they wear, mm. like there was a police officer I saw his badge. I think the current is Petro uh, of Police. If you look at his badge, he's carrying an FBI badge. Mm. He was trained oh, in wow. FBI Academy in the US. So many of them are well trained, they know these things. The problem is a systemic failure, mm. and it's happened over the years. So, like I said, we will not talk about that now. Police case is another case. Mm -hmm. But we are focused on the election now. Maybe another time we will revisit this issue of police case. Mm -hmm. But the question now is that how would we boost voters' confidence in Edo State and ensure a rank of free, less tense atmosphere in Edo State? Mm -hmm. That is the issue on ground now. Mm -hmm. Whether the military gets involved or not. Or not. Mm -hmm. So that's the question now. So what do you think about this? What do you think? Well, I... I still believe in fairness. I still believe in sensibility when treating them political topics because first of all, you are, you are trying to govern, I won't use the word, word rule, you are trying to govern people like yourself. You understand? You are trying to govern people, you are trying to create um, policies and strategies to help these people grow, to help your state grow. And you also, you are helping yourself and mm -hmm. posterity to come. So why not build on the principle of fairness, credibility, and accountability. So I think the problem we have is the issue of ac accountability mm. and credibility as a nation. Mm. If we are able to fix our problem with credibility, then we'll, to an extent, we'll fix many things mm. as a nation and as leaders. Yes, yeah, so I'll take it up from where Bola talked about accountability, which is very essential. Um, if you remember the debates, the, there was a call for debates where all the candidates right were to from the three political parties were to come and you know debate and only one you know actually honored it so now, and this raises the issue of accountability if you cannot come and actually express or debate you know to the people that you you intend to govern how how are we sure that you would be able you be accountable when you get to office do you understand so you, before you get to office you are already not accountable. Okay. So when you now get to office, what's the possibility of your accountability? Okay. So you are, you, you so are it's more it's more of a thing that what you did before um, office, you are mm -hmm. going to continue. You are going to continue after. doing. And another thing I want to say is that I, we should let the people of Edo State freely, you know, and fairly vote who they want in office without fear of. Of violence, of violence tension. Tension. All right, thank you very much. Thank you very much. So, what we're going to just emphasize is that the various candidates, should, especially the three musketeers, <laughs> you know, they have many candidates, but the, the three musketeers, the major exactly. three, the three choices, mm -hmm. which, which is the PDP, APC, and the LP, Labour Party, Party, we should focus more on addressing the concerns of Edo State, not just smear politics mm -hmm. or personal attacks. Yeah. That is one. And then let me emphasize Abraham Lincoln again. He said, ballots is greater than the bullets mm -hmm. right so we don't have to we don't have to kill ourselves because of the ballot is stronger and greater mm -hmm. than the bullets i'm paraphrasing him Abraham lincoln mm -hmm. so that you can actually change cause change and and positive revolution through the ballots yeah. not the bullets sure. and then election no be war to those in ghana nigeria and us mm -hmm. we see election no be war Right, thank you very much for your contribution. Bola Yaya is next after the break. <laughs>